Emergency vehicles are out on our roads to help serve and protect our citizens. North Dakota has a move-over law to help keep emergency responders and our motorists safe while working on our roadways. North Dakota DOT Director Tom Sorrell talks about the importance of the move-over law. We want to remind motorists it's important to move over or change lanes when they encounter an authorized emergency vehicle such as a highway patrol, ambulance, fire truck, DOT maintenance vehicle, or tow truck parked along our state's highways. ND DOT team members and other personnel who do work along our roads are conducting important projects to ensure safety for all motorists. Every year our state's emergency personnel risk their lives assisting injured or stranded motorists and the move over law helps make sure everyone gets home safely at the end of the day. While working, these vehicles will display a flashing, revolving, or rotating light, which means the approaching drivers should move over if possible and proceed with caution. DOT maintenance personnel Bob McKay hopes motorists take the law seriously to help keep everyone safe on our roads. It's scary. It because they're coming by at 75 miles an hour. We're right there in the unsafe zone, if you will. So we really need that space to do our job. Lieutenant Mike Rourke with the North Dakota Highway Patrol explains how the law works and what people should do when they encounter an emergency vehicle parked or stopped along the interstate or a multi-lane highway. The driver of an approaching vehicle should proceed with caution and yield the right of way by moving to a lane that is not adjacent to the vehicle if the move may be made with due regard to safety and traffic conditions. If not, the driver should proceed with due caution, reduce the speed of the vehicle, and maintain a safe speed for the road conditions. If you do not follow the law, it's considered a right of way violation, worth two points on your license and a fine of $50. So when you see our vehicles with someone pulled over on the side of the roadway, Please move over. If that's not possible, please slow down and pay close attention. The most important factor is the safety of our emergency personnel and our motorists, so it's important to follow the law. If you are traveling on a two-lane roadway and encounter an emergency vehicle and it's too dangerous to pull into the other lane, slow down, assess the situation, and proceed with caution. State Trooper Brittany Schmidt was on a routine traffic stop on I-29 near Grand Forks when a distracted driver crashed into her patrol car and she was injured. Before we get out of the car, I always um, look at my rearview mirror and my side mirrors to make sure everybody is moving over before I get out. When I look back, I just saw a white passenger car that was basically already on my rear that was more so like on the shoulder and partially in the driving lanes. Grand Forks 336, I just got hit, airbags deployed. Um, if you can notify, notify a supervisor. Like we had nowhere to go, I mean, I knew right then and there that I was gonna be getting hit. So I probably had a second to um, just brace myself, but it felt like forever. And just sat there and, and waited for it. The driver was a 17 year old and he was texting. And we were on a straight stretch of interstate, so um, you know, everyone else is moving over except him because his face was in his phone. And so he didn't even know what was happening. Um, just all of a sudden he ended up hitting me at 79 miles an hour. Trooper Schmidt recovered from her injuries, but not everyone is so lucky. In fact, every year more than 50 emergency responders are killed or seriously injured on our nation's highways because motorists fail to slow down and move over. First responders such as Bismarck's Rural Fire Chief Michael Voigt put their lives on the line every day making sure people are safe. He asked drivers to do their part when encountering emergency personnel working near the roadway. When they see us working we're asking people's cooperation to pull over because obviously we want to go home safe to our families at the end of the day and by slowing down moving over it gives us the room to work and uh, gives us the opportunity to avoid collisions along with first responders tow truck drivers do much of their work near oncoming traffic george Kuntz with ace towing says the main thing is for motorists to pay attention and not be distracted when behind the wheel. 
Our biggest concern when we're out there on the side of the highway is that people pay attention. Slow down, move over if all possible. If you can't, at least reduce your speed. Um, stay off your cell phones. Don't be texting and driving. Um, you know, we don't have a whole lot of room out there on the shoulder when we're working. And if people come flying by, there, there's a great opportunity for one of us to be hit and killed. Although all 50 states now have move over laws to protect emergency responders and maintenance personnel, motorists need to do their part by slowing down, moving over when possible, and driving according to conditions. Remember, every situation is different, so always be prepared. Failing to take these actions can endanger your life and the lives of others. Please help protect those who protect you, and remember to move over.